So here is uh, my last design, which is based on um, ESP8266 uh, Wi-Fi enabled chip. So here is a chip, which is driving um, a Triac and a mock, uh, allowing to have uh, a light dimmer. Directly driven by the main power, that is 220 volts. So beware that this uh, this uh, this part is very dangerous because the power is there. So never touch it. This part is uh, totally isolated from the mains by optocoupler. So this part is absolutely not dangerous. So how does it work? So here is the power part of the of this system. So the main is connecting there. You have this uh, pair of resistors which is uh, limiting the current and, and driving this uh, this diode which is in opposite direction with the optocoupler. So here the voltage is around the 0.6 volt which is uh, the, the tension which is voltage which is uh, across, the LED, across the diode or across the LED. And so here you will have a very nice square square wave going to zero anytime the power is crossing the zero voltage. This LED is eliminating this transistor opto, opto coupler and is feeding an input signal which is a zero crossing signal uh, to the microcontroller. So the microcontroller is uh, driving the mock uh, 3021 which is an opto-isolated uh, DIAC uh, which is itself driving the gate of the TRIAC and the TRIAC is um, hashing the, the main power and driving the load. So the result on, uh, on the scope is something like that. There it is. So you detect any time the power which is in green here is the power. Anytime the power is crossing the zero voltage, so here, and going down, here, there, and, and so on. You just have to wait the delay you want. You send a pulse to the mock, which is uh, opening the gate of the triac, and the triac is conducting, is driving, and goes, uh, is um, shut off when going again at zero voltage. Then you have to wait again the delay you want. You send a pulse and the triac is open again and open till the end of the half period. So it's a succession of uh, nothing, conducting, nothing, conducting, and so on. Now you just have to move this yellow yellow signal, the pulse, and you can increase or decrease the power which is fed to the to the load. So I will show you the result on another, so I said, I will show you the result with uh, the, the voltage which is cut half of the time almost. So here is uh, zero detection, you wait half, uh, half period, then we switch on the triac, which is uh, shutting itself automatically when the zero is detected. You have to wait half the period and you shut off, you shut, you shut, shut it on again. And finally here is the result when there is almost nothing. So imagine the signal doing this, the period. It has been cut between the zero to the yellow pulse. So it's only conducting from this time to this time. And then off. So the result is that you have energy only here, and here, and here. And so the light is almost completely uh, black. Now I will show you the result on the on a real uh, bulb, and you will see how it works. Uh, all this is um, driven by uh, MCU, which is itself 
Wi-Fi enabled. So you will see I will command the, the light directly from my tablet. Um, here is the result which is now fully operated. That is uh, the power is on. So here is uh, 220 volts. And uh, on this peak uh, is the Wi-Fi. So I can now send an order to the to the microcontroller. So I don't know if you see it clearly, but um, I have here the IP address of the Wi-Fi. <coughs> and um, it's a very simple design which uh, you can input the brightness between 0 up to, to 200. So you do have 200 steps of brightness. And for example, I will put something like a 50. And I send it to the Wi-Fi. And the result is the light, uh, light which is almost completely dimmed. So I will go down. 25. For instance. And the result is uh, a light which is uh, almost fully, fully black. Now you can increase the light. It's very, very smooth. So I increase to 100, that is half the power, and the result is uh, not very bright, but more bright LED, and you can, you can go up to the maximum, that is 200, and now it's, it's very bright. So I go down to 40, for instance, it works. So you have a fully, fully Wi-Fi wi -fi enabled system, which is a, a, a power dimmer, which can switch on off any any bulb or any any um, inductive load if you want. That is a motor, a fan, for example. It should be easy to uh, to modify the system in order to drive more than one more than one uh, bulb with the same detection which is here the price of this is extremely cheap because it's using the ESP8266 uh, system which is uh, around two two dollars and the triac plus the mock uh, is less than 10 bucks enjoy